We're back for more punishment with Esmeralda, who likely is going to take all of my gems, and hopefully I get some equipment out of the deal. I live-streamed doing over 100 divinations with Esmeralda, and I think was way, way, way below average. So now we're going beyond, above and beyond, the 104 that we've done so far. We're adding 50 more divinations on top. Hoping that even though we're going beyond the extra value tiers, maybe we'll get some of those crucial materials to make amazing equipment. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisquel Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms, and today we're doing these extra divinations. Normally, I would do these in a live stream, however... My sweet little baby loves when daddy does bath time, so tonight I've got to do that instead. We're going to rock these divinations, then we're going to do the card king on my restart project. So, you know, spending a lot of gems all the way around. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, or maybe just fruitlessly spend my gems so you don't have to, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. We covered the patch that went live earlier today. A lot of stuff in there, but let's get to the divinations, shall we? Here we go. First set of five divinations. Looking for good stuff. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Yes! See, I told you in my live stream I was getting completely wrecked. This is so, so much better. Already three legendaries and three epics. So, yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's get that scoreboard up that's a grand total of 15 epics in the first five we got 46 in the entire 104 last time sure sure whatever chiskul this is fine this is fine it's all evening out now baby it's all evening out now okay two epics on top i'll take two epics and honestly most of what's here is pretty decent i'm lukewarm on the equipment patterns. I'll get some value out of them. It's really the speed ups, the equipment crates that are the best, the resources, whatever, whatever. But at least we got some materials out of that deal. Here we go again. 3,600 gems looking for good stuff. Okay, not bad. One legendary worth of materials and also a little bit of resources on top. That puts us up to 21 epics as we go. Let's keep on rocking this out, hoping for more goodies. 35 divinations remaining. What do we get? Come on, baby. Okay, less value on this one. Way less value on this one. The funny thing is that although I do want to see these show up, this is worth about 600 gems. In fact, exactly 600 gems. Whereas the speed ups are actually worth closer to 1,000 gems. So the speed up pulls here are actually sort of better than the equipment pull that I got, but okay, up to 22 epics now. Looking pretty good, almost half already of what we got from a full 104 divinations in the past. Let's do this thing again, shall we? Shall we? Okay, okay! That is what I want to see, baby! Four freaking epics right out the gate and all training speedups. That is really very good. Very, very good from 22 to 26 epics now. Like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep this going. We're halfway through and we have more than half the value from doing 104 divinations. Let's try this again. Give me the good stuff, Esmeralda. Give me the good stuff. Okay, okay. Yes. Now we're up to 31 making amazing progress here. Gosh, we got so wrecked in our last live stream. It is fairly astonishing. The amount of materials we're getting now is just stupendous. 20 divinations remaining. Here we go. Smash the button and what do we get? Boom, boom, boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Wow. Wow. Cheers, baby. I knew it even out. I knew it would even out. Okay. This is really good. This is really good. That was astonishingly good. Wow, we're up to 41 epics. That's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff. Pardon me while I get a sip of tea as we go here, okay? Love it. That was amazing. Should've took a screenshot. Really should've took a screenshot. Okay, here we go. 15 divinations remain. Will we get the good stuff? 
Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh. Well, you win some. And you lose some, I suppose. This is one of those lose some divinations. Still up to 41. Epic so far. Feeling really good about this use of gems. Let's smash the divination again. We've got 10 remaining. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's no bright side to this one. All those building speed ups are really bad for me. Spent 3,600 gems. Best case, you could argue that that was worth less than 2,000 gems. I figure it might all even out, hopefully. Five divinations remaining, Esmeralda. Be good to me, baby. You've done so well so far. 41 epics. Help me beat the entirety of the 104 divinations we did before. With these 50 divinations, come on. Final round. What do we got? Okay, okay, we lost our fighting spirit there, apparently. We lost our fighting spirit, apparently. 12 boots. The thing is, I will definitely make use of those boots. I can work toward a special talent on either one of my either archer or infantry boots. I will get value from that. So I'll take it. I'll take it for what it is. It's almost halfway to being able to craft one of those. Would I be gemming that normally? No. Did I just spend gems for that now? I guess I did. So if we look at our gem count here, we're down to 46,923. I suppose that's enough gems for now. Let's make our way over to my restart project and go jam on that card king, baby. We'll snap our way to it. Here we are in the card king. The commander that I'm really interested in is Saladin, a mightiest governor commander that I actually did not even unlock. So we'll go get some sculptures of Saladin, at least make him available to my roster, then maybe save my gems for other things. The grand total number of sculptures that we need to get this operation done is actually pretty significant. I think I need all 10 of the Saladin sculptures to simply unlock him, to have him available. That is the case. 10 sculptures of Saladin. That is very achievable in this event. So here we go. We'll make our way in. Start Saladin. This round, what do we have? Shuffle it up. We're sitting on three sculptures of Saladin. I mean, I should probably just save the last four rounds to kind of go all in on Saladin. That's the way I should do this because that guarantees the unlock. And if I get one of the lucky rounds earlier with an extra legendary commander sculpture, then I'll do one of those. So this round, I'm just going to see if I get a match off the bat. I don't. And I think I just reset it, which is fine. All I'm trying to do is make this commander available to my roster so that if some point I want to go in on them, I have that option. Freaking nail it. Wood off the bat. Actually kind of need that resource on this account, I guess. And from here, I think I smashed that reset button. Confirm. Okay. Let's keep going. What do we got? Experience tomes, not a match. This is using my free-to-play-ish method for approaching this where you use the least amount of gems possible. I'll have the card up in the top for exactly how I've approached that in the past. In the case you'd like to see it, we'll smash reset here. Confirm. What do we get out of the deal? Let's see. Is this a extra lucky round? No, it is not. Okay. Food and no. Reset it. Confirm. What do we get this time? Not really extra lucky. There is a lot of speed ups in here. This does look like a very playable round. I, I might just play this round out and get the good stuff. So let's see here. 10 hours and 12 hours of speed ups. There's one salad in head. We match that up. Looking to what's next, there's the double Saladin heads and the 10 hours of speed ups get matched. Going to the next space, we've got one gold key and the 12 hours of speed ups get matched. We're looking for the double head matchup here. We've got gold up top and then the gold key and then the double head. So where is the double head, top, bottom, or middle? Let's go for middle this time. No dice. Match the gold. That's good stuff. We'll match bottom for the double heads, and that's enough probably to reset the round. We're up to three Saladin sculptures at this point. Confirm. Okay, looking at what's here. There, now this is the kind of round I'm talking about. This is a round you play, because you get the extra sculpture over here. So we're all in on this round. We'll start with the corners, extra sculpture, and the gold. Then we've got the Saladin matchup right in the middle. 
Love that off the bat. And then there's the, wow, single sculpture matchup. Okay, so far, so good. There's a gold key. Eight hours of speed ups, gold key gets matched up. Very good. The eight hours of speed ups and the gold is what we have on hand. There's the double sculpture head. Wow. Okay, we're all matched up here. Do I even need to continue? Nope. Nope, I wouldn't pay 300 gems for eight hours of speed ups and I wouldn't pay 300 gems for all that gold. Not on this account anyways. So let's reset the duel and we're up to six Saladin heads. Very nice. Looking in, wow, perfect round yet again. We play this one. We play this one all the way through. Starting with the corners, we've got gold into a sculpture, then experience tomes into a Saladin sculpture. Sculptures get matched up. Underneath that, then underneath that, double head, double head, single head, single heads get matched up. Love that that's where we're at. And now gold gets matched up. We're looking for the double head matchup if we can find it. There's experience tomes. Those get matched up. Final spot up over here, eight hour speed up. And we have the double head. So double heads, middle or top. Let's go with top. Freaking nailed it. Would I pay uh, 300 gems for an eight hour speed up? I would not. You get a better deal at the VIP shop. I believe this puts us up to nine Saladin sculptures at this point. So we're up to nine Saladin sculptures. Let's reset the duel. We're looking at not a great round to play. We'll just reset this round if we don't get a match. We didn't. We'll reset it. We need only one more Saladin sculpture at this point. Do we have a good round? This is not a bad round, but we probably won't play it. Yeah, I think we skipped this one. Reset the duel. Confirm. This round we need to play to get our Saladin unlocked. Let's give that a shot. This is a fine round. A lot of speed ups contained in here and the double stars. We look in the corners. We've got single sculpture and 12 hours of speed ups. 12 hours of speed ups get matched up. Then going to the other central spot, eight hours speed up with the double star. Single head, that gets matched up in the bottom row. Then bottom right corner, double head. Double head looking into double star. Double star, we can match up. We found that earlier. I've got this memory thing totally locked down. I'm an expert at this. Then we've got the eight hour speed ups matched. From here, we've got this double head. Hopefully it's up top. It's not. Now we go top or we go middle. Top or middle. I say middle and middle it is. There we are, my friends. I suppose we only needed to get one sculpture. We're a couple extra. We just got really into that, I suppose. And now we've completed all of our chances. We can unlock or summon the Saladin. When we do that, when we're feeling like spending on this account, we will go ahead and get 10 extra sculptures out of the deal as well. So I feel pretty good about that. I'll point out that the Vixen Esmeralda is here as well. Dare I go to the 10 tier? Dare I do it? I guess we do. I guess we do. We'll do five divinations on this account. That seems reasonable. It seems entertaining. Well, I regret my life choices. That's pretty awkward. That's pretty awkward. I guess now I just spend 800 gems, collect the reward, and just pretend this never happened. 800 gems, that's actually worth. That's uh, 1,200 gems worth of value there. Claim it and claim this and pretend the rest of that didn't happen. Would I have paid 3,600 gems to get two equipment crates and the speed ups probably not but i got all the other stuff along the way too i kind of need other types of speed ups on this account but let's pretend that this let's pretend this little encounter with esmeralda never happened if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel for daily rise of kingdoms videos we have so much going on right now on our main account with heroic anthem kvk the patch around the corner there's so much you're not going to want to miss and if you want to see where we did esmeralda a couple days ago in a live stream and we just got obliterated. Yep. Card will be up in the top for that stream as well. Until next time, my friends, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.